yes so we have a question paper here as you can see and then on the other side is where i'll be writing my stuff i don't see how they show so far so let me just do the imported questions i'll come to question one and yes question we'll start with question two we'll start here on question two so i right, question two i don't know the way i write does it affect here question two so what you need to be to basically get with these videos as i'm not like yet prepared or a, my setup if you can see how i set up your love you know the phone the stand off a mic a box everything but it's fine we'll get there so let's just answer the question and the roller complainer so let me check if everything is showing so far i'm so you can see here yeah? and if you can see i'll try to like uh uh focus it and you see it well but i'm sure you can see so far so let, let, let's do this and we see what happens so we have a question here on our side it says that two girls standing at opposite ends is my sound recording yes two girls standing at opposite ends of a rope each makes a pulse of the same speed okay so it means pulse a and b they are pulses of the same speed with an amplitude with an amplitude of four centimeter with an amplitude of four centimeter Pulse A with an amplitude of 4 cm moves to the right and pulse B with an amplitude of minus 6 cm moves to the left. The two pulses meet at point C. That's what we have so far. So let's answer the question. But I could say before you answer the question, it means like you need to ask yourself or like what do you remember or what what is it that here yeah, they will be like talking about or discussing under waves. But what I can tell so far is I can see that pulse a and pulse b since they're moving in opposite direction this is going this direction this this direction so it means at c obviously they're gonna meet as they say like they meet at point c and something happens at point c so let's let's answer the question or follow up state the phenomenon observed when the two pulses meet at point c so what is the phenomenon that uh, is observed when pulse a and b they meet the name of the phenomenon it is what the principle principle of superposition superposition so i won't waste time because i'm really tired i want to rest and sleep i won't waste time into like uh writing these definitions you have them in your notes so just get to know okay how to state the phenomenon the phenomenon we call it super principle of superposition principle of superposition because here at c this pulse and this pulse pulse a and b they're gonna be occupying the same space at the same time that's what that is the answer there then 2.2 draw a labeled diagram to show the resultant pulse when the two pulses meet at c so what are they saying is like let's draw what happens to c we know that a it's like this which they say that it has a uh, an amplitude of four centimeter i'm sure you can see four centimeter and this is a and we have b which it has an amp oh b something like this sorry b it has an amplitude of minus six centimeter so when they when they reach c what happens we know that the superposition position says that the, the the disturbance at point c is gonna be the sum of a and b which is a plus b but in this case, our pulse, it, when we deal with uh, with the superposition, don't forget that we're dealing with the amplitude, not the pulse length. So A plus B, it means the amplitude of A, which is 4 centimeter minus, the reason we are minus, but we can say plus, then open brackets, minus B. What is the amplitude of B? Minus 6 centimeters. Then this becomes 4 minus 6, which is equal to minus 2 centimeters so it means the amplitude at c or i mean uh, the pulse at c is going to have an amplitude of minus two centimeter so to draw that is going to be something at c at c you're going to draw something like this then the pulse is minus so it means it's like a, a throw then something like this then the distance here it is minus two centimeters this is the pulse so i think this is what you can draw and yeah you got two marks next one they say label the pulses the pulses clearly do i do i need to label them the amplitude make sure you label the amplitude and label or this is point c and this is a plus b or a minus b something like that so 2.3 name the type of interference that takes place when the two pulses meet in 2.3 the type of interference in superposition we have two types of interference we have what constructive constructive 
and destructive boys <laughs> and destructive i mean and destructive constructive it is when two crests meet ne? then destructive is when a crest and a trough meet because they're gonna distract each other or cancel out each other this one they're gonna construct each other 2.4 determine the resultant amplitude of the pulses at point c so we already calculated that which is four minus six which is minus two centimeters we already got that one and how will the amplitude of pulse a be affected after passing point c after a when it reaches c at c a and b they become one thing of which it becomes this pulse we answered in question 2.2 then in 2.5 what you're gonna say it's okay after it reached C, A and B, after C, they both continue in their respective direction. They both continue in their respective direction and the same properties. So after C, A is going to have how many? It's going to have 4 centimeter amplitude and B is going to have minus 6 centimeter amplitude. So it means after C, they both continue in their normal places. So here, the amplitude of pulse A is going to remain the same. So... Yes, that's how to answer this question uh, or if you come across this question. Yeah, this question was basically under pulses and we were dealing about principle of superposition and yes. So, all right, let's go to question three. So, question three, the diagram below represents a water wave moving from left to right. So, it's moving from left to right. The time between the two consecutive crests, it is 0 0.5 meters. So, they mean a time between two consecutive crest so it means a time from here this crest to this crest it is how much 0 0.5 seconds so we can just claim in that this our period it is 0 0.5 second because between two consecutive crests that's a full wave from b to f that's a complete wave so if the time between these two is 0 0.5 seconds then it means the period it is 0 0.5 second so 3.1 3.1 what type of wave is water wave? Obviously, that's going to be what? Transverse wave. Transverse wave. 3.2. I thought I was going to write on this, but I'm not writing. I'm just explaining because you already know this stuff. So 3.2. Write down the amplitude of the wave. So the amplitude of the wave, it is the height of the pulse, not the height of the wave. So it means from where? From the equilibrium point from the equilibrium point to the highest point or the lowest point so it means from here to here or from here to here so what do we see here we are given the height of this wave the wave not the pulse by the way i'm saying the height of this wave which from f to here which is 2,5. We know the height from here to the equilibrium and the height from here to the troll, it is the same height. So 2,5, we're going to say 2,5 divided by 2 and that is... I don't know. I don't know maths that much. 2,5 divided by 2 and that is 1,25 meters. So that is the amplitude of the wave. So what is... Uh, define the term wavelength. Wavelength, wavelength it means is a distance from... A to E or from B to F from C to G. So we say that wavelength, it is the distance between two consecutive points that are in phase because B and F, they are in phase. A and E, they are in phase. C and G, they are in phase. E and I, they are in phase and so on. So wavelength, it is the distance between two consecutive points that are in phase. Next question, determine the wavelength of the wave. So the wavelength, it means we need the distance from here to here. What do we have? We have a distance from B to D, which is a half of a wave. So it means 1,5 times 2. So 1,5 times 2 equals to 3 meters. So it means that the wavelength, it is 3 meters. Because you can see this one is 1.5. So from here to here, it is 1.5. So obviously, we know the distance from here to here is going to be the same this equal distance to 1.5 which is 1.5 times 2 and that is 3 uh 3.5 name two points on the wave form above that are in phase as i've said the points which are in phase are, are points which like the they complete a wave or they they after a complete wave so for this case a is in phase with e c is in phase with 
G. B is in phase with F. And so on. Because you see from A to E is one complete wave. You can say E is in phase with I, two complete waves, and so on. So when we talk about points which are in phase, we talk about points which they after a complete full wave. And A and E are in phase. B and F are in phase. C and G are in phase. D and H and H are in phase. Ne? So yes, calculate 3.6. I know when we deal with calculations, I need to write. 3.6. 3, I don't know if you can still see. Because, hey, 3.6. Yeah, I'm sure you still can see. We will improve. 3.6. The time taken for four crests to move past a certain point in the path of the wave. How many crests here? We don't have four crests. But what do we have in this case? We have a, oh, see. We have a wavelength of how much? We calculated our wavelength from this side. We said our wavelength, it is... 3 meter so let's take that in our wavelength it is 3 meter what else do we have uh we have period we have the period which we said it is 0 0.5 second ne? what are we looking for guys we're looking for the time taken the time taken for four crest to move past a certain point in the path of the wave so it means we need the time it takes for four crest for four crest to move past a certain point so what do we know we can draw our things like okay one one crest two three four crests now, so it means from here to here we need to know the time we call this t because big letter t is for the period it means the distance of it means the time taken for one complete wave so it means t it is from here to here this is t this is 0, 0,5 second. Why? They say, Dore, the time between two consecutive crests, it is what? 0, 0.5 seconds. So it means the time between these two is 0, 0.5. Between these two, 0, 0.5. Between these two, 0, 0.5. Time taken for four crests. One crest, two crest, three crest, four crest. How many waves? One, two, three waves. Or how many uh, period? Three periods of which 0, 0,5. Ne? So it means t equals to 0, 0,5 times is 1, 2, 3. Time is 3, which is 0, 0,5 times 3, which is 1,5 second. So this is the answer here. The answer here is 1,5 second. 3.7, the speed of the wave. We know once they talk about the speed of the wave, it is v equals to wavelength divided by period am i correct yes or v equals to a uh, frequency time is wavelength this is what we have so in this situation which values do we have do we have wavelength yes we do have the wavelength of three meter do we have period yes we have the period of 0, 0.5 second i will suggest or i will say advice don't use this T, this is the T of four crest or three waves. Ne? Don't use this T. So it means V equals to wavelength divided by period. What is our wavelength? Three. What is our period? 0, 0,5. Therefore, three divided by 0, 0,5, it is equals to six meters per second. That is the answer. So it means the speed of the wave, it is six meters per second second don't forget don't forget to write meters per second because we need to show that it is the speed yes that's it